<laughs> Why aren't you open? Why are you not open? Hurts looks so great. It looks so damn good. Hurts from healing. What's up you nerds? I'm at Bush Gardens Williamsburg. Today's been sick. It is now 6:10, and I'm a shy, I'm a shy video taker. I don't like doing it in public, and there's people freaking everywhere. So I thought this was nice and secluded. I'm just gonna do this like three times, and hopefully I can get all my thoughts down. Let's start off with the album, guys. So, dude, that thing absolutely rips. We did the back row and it straight up annihilated us. But we also got, we got second row, yeah. And that wasn't bad, honestly. Better, that's really good though. It's just kind of like really, really jerky in parts. And I was not a fan of that. And how it's super slow at the end and it's just meanders into the brakes. I didn't like that. I mean, there's 67 miles per hour of speed. You'd think they could, they could figure out something to do in there. Oh, dude, don't even get me started on the mid-course brake run. Oh my goodness, horrendous. I wouldn't usually give rides ratings, but if Alpengeist is anything, that is for sure like a 6.7 out of 10. It's like you just watched a movie and you're not sure whether you just wasted an hour and a half of your life or if you're just being too harsh. Going to Apollo's Chariot which has been consistently mid in the front row, but the back row is actually kind of, it kind of slaps. All right, Apollo's Chariot for the fourth time today. Just two times too many because I was once in the front and once in the second row. And both of those were forceless. And then I got once in the eighth row, and once in the back row, and those were pretty fire. It's honestly, it's a good ride. It's a really good ride. I think it does add something to this park. And uh, I 100% hated it on the last time because I thought it was weak, but it's actually kind of fire. What else? Oh, Tempesto. Dude, they gotta fix those restraints. That's a problem. That's legitimately a problem. My knee, my legs were just getting absolutely obliterated at the end of that. It was brutal. Still a great ride though. Like. If they made the restraints better, I would be so much happier. Because then I wouldn't be getting squashed. So, for Bolton is still mega awesome. Oh my goodness, after that first launch, after you go down the drop in the darkness, you just get absolutely thrown into your seat like you're plastered to it and you bank to the right and then you go left and do a helix upwards i almost grayed out on that no i did gray out on that it was dope i love that ride there's so many pieces to it both launches are forceful it is fire dude the painters on alpha guys really went for it on this one. Oh my god the paint job over here looks so good oh wait I am about to do Invader for the second time today. Dude, this thing is honestly really fun. Yeah, it's a family ride. It still goes 50 miles an hour. That first drop, jam-packed with airtime. You wouldn't believe it in the back. It actually is. And this thing is starting to get a little rough. It's so much more fun now. I love it. I freaking love it, dude. That should not be called a family ride. That's a low-key thrill ride. It's so fast. And the airtime, did I mention the airtime? It's incredible. I love that ride. This thing was actually running two trains today. Props to those dudes. And my boy Gabe, my boy Gabe, put me in the back row. What a nice guy. Back row both times. I'm in heaven, I'm in heaven, guys.
while I'm here, I might as well mention Griffin is better than Chica. I figured it out. It took me a while. But we did front row and back row, and both are fire. Back row is better and more intense because there's more air time. Dude, I didn't realize how much air time there was going to be on this thing. Yeah, no, I can't wait to ride it again, especially at night, just because lights off. This is way too good. Straight up crack cocaine. Probably, I would not. Okay, Loch Ness Monster absolutely murdered my knees. Just want to put that one out there. It's fun and all. It's actually like relatively smooth and I bet it'd be better if I was in the road where it doesn't crunch your knees, but it still did. And I did not like that. So that's probably like the worst ride here, I would say. This Invader still has airtime in the back. And it hauls, dude, that ride hauls. Loch Ness is pretty good, but Vader hauls. Okay, there's a few things you need to wrap up here before we go. Number one, Pantheon is the greatest roller coaster I've ever been on in my entire life. The airtime, the backwards airtime, there's freaking backwards airtime. Um, all the stalls, uh, the zero, zero G stuff. The airtime's insane. All the hills are like off axis and they're just, it's, it's, I don't know who came up with it. Genius, genius. Intamin, bravo. It's just incredible. Sundown is at 8.04, which is in four minutes. So that means we have time for night rise. All right, first up is Invader. And um, I'm gonna try to get Griffin and her Bolton and Tempesto as well. We will see. We will see. Dude, for sure best ride on Invader so far. That thing hauls at night, oh my lord. I don't know what it was, like if it just had time to warm up the track or whatever, but it was flying. I was in the sixth row, I think, and whoo! Honestly, could be better than um, Alpine Guys, and might have more airtime than Apollo's Chariot. Yeah, I said it. Oh, and I think that it, a visit here would be unfulfilled if I didn't get a ride on Griffin at night, because like, what are dive coasters if not the best thing to ride at night? Like, literally ever. In case anyone was wondering, night rides on both dive coasters and wing coasters are undefeated. I'm gonna go ride for Bolton as many times as time will allow because that is the best ride here right now, in my opinion. Yeah, come fight me on it. Last ride of the night, Ver Bolton, back road. Oh, that is so good. That is so good. Yeah, no, there is not a better ride at this park than that, I don't think, until Pantheon opens. The theming is just so good. The little, uh, the part where you free fall 10 feet is sweet, and then the two launches are great. Oh. It's so good. It's so, I wrote it six times. That's how much I like it. I mean, don't do that with everything.